Welcome back to the vlog. Happy birthday, David. Today is March 17th, 2019, and it is David's 19th birthday. Happy birthday. And I always know how old David is by the year, so I'll never like not know how old David is. If you forget my birthday. Because if it's like 2030, that means that you're 30 years old, so I'll always know that. Right. How do you feel? I feel the same as I did at 11.59 last night. <laughs> So we're just getting out of church and I'm with my parents. Shout outs to mom and then my dad. Hi. And where are we going, Dave? We're going to Hibachi. So Hibachi. David's been wanting to go here for forever. Since so. like two years. I've been asking two years. And, uh, so we're finally going today. So see you there. So we just got to the Hibachi Grill place, but they don't open until 2 and it's like 1.40. So we're just waiting. And I'm about to show you my OOTD, right? No. <laughs> Just waiting in the car. Hi. Hello. Are you enjoying the weather? So my tripod broke, so I'm just holding my phone with my pop socket. But I think it's because my phone is too big for that tripod thing to hold it. But it works for my brother's little iPhone, and now he thinks he's a vlogger. Inception. <laughs> vlogger my butt. <laughs> Look at those teeth. Okay. The teeth? It's kind of cold out here, so let me put this back on. <laughs> Ray, welcome to my vlog channel. Hi, how are you, little sister? This is your big brother, Ray. I love you, God bless you. What do you have to say for David's birthday? Uh, for David's birthday, I want to wish him a happy birthday. I want to tell him I love him. He's uh -huh. the best little brother anybody could have. You were going to say big brother? Yes. <laughs> He's like my little big brother because oh he gosh. inspires me to do Okay, your time's done. Bye. <laughs> this is Alyssa and this is Grayson. Hi. Hi, Hi Grayson. And there's Jace. Jace Say wants hi. grandma. There's my mama. There's my dad. What up, dad? Look at his fit, though. Look at his fit. Hello? Ooh, he got that Calvin Klein jacket. What's up? My beautiful sister. There's Danny. Nice purse, Ray. Thanks. <laughs> Talking about the struggles of being parents. Same Damn, I had to do this. Always a project. For real. Fit us all in here. Hey, Grayson. Oh, you're cute, bro. Cutie. We just got to the mall because David wants to. David wants. I'm getting David a birthday again. Sounds great. We're going to the van store to get some vans. You go. <laughs> Happy or what? So I just got home and I wanted to do something a little different. I wanted to sit down and have a girl chat and just talk about my middle school experience. Cause I was thinking like, wow, my brother is 19 years old. Time pff, flies. 
I can't believe it. And it got me thinking, like, do you remember when I was in middle school? What? I feel like I was a completely different person. If I was able to go back in time and talk to that young, growing teenager person, what would I tell this girl? So I came up with five things that I would tell her. Number one is, Jennifer, you are going to be okay. <laughs> For starters, <laughs> I grew up in a private Christian school from preschool to fifth grade. I loved the school that I went to. It was great, but unfortunately I had to transition out into a different school. So this was a public school. If any of you guys out there have ever transitioned from a private Christian school to a public school, mama, it's like two different worlds. Not to say that a private Christian school is like the holies of holies. Nah, it was not like that. But just saying, it was like different. I remember the first week that I got there, this girl wanted to beat me up. I was like, skirt, I don't, I don't even know you. What? You want to beat me up? I was just telling myself, girl, relax. No, it's not for you. Number two. I would tell myself, stop trying to be like everyone else. So when I was in middle school, it was the days of Hollister was popping, expensive old Abercrombie was popping, Aeropostale, what else? The trend was to have that Aeropostale logo across your chest or the Hollister logo across your chest. And I wanted to be like everyone else. I was like, mom, we better get on Aeropostale.com on Cyber Monday. We about to get like 10 Aeropostale shirts. We about to catch those deals because I'm trying to look like everybody else. Do you guys remember when North Face was popping? I wanted a North Face jacket and the Nike Air Forces. I would tell myself, stop trying to be like everyone else. Stop spending your parents' money on stupid old things. You can get yourself a nice little t-shirt from Old Navy and be Gucci. I wish I would have had the sense of style that I have now. No, I'm kidding. I was always into fashion, but those Hollister shirts, no. Third thing that I would tell myself is your insecurity does not, does not define you. Some of you may know that I struggled with acne. Girl, it was bad. What I would tell my middle school self going through it, I would tell myself your insecurity does not define you. You are more than your little pimple. That is not the end all be all of life. Okay, mama? It's not. <laughs> I would ask my mom to please cut my bangs, make sure my forehead was covered because I would break out the most on my forehead. Look at my forehead now. Yeah, I made it. Fourth thing that I would tell myself is listen to your mother. Listen to her. I remember the peer pressure in middle school to talk to this boy and this boy he bought well he did not buy me he didn't buy me this phone i don't know if he stole it do you guys remember the track phone it was like prepaid you had to like buy minutes for it and i remember he brought this phone to school and i was mad hype i was like eee, i got a phone what's up so that he could talk to me i brought that phone home my mom was like what phone is that <laughs> what you better go bring that back that's not yours I was mad hype. I was like, yes, I got my own little phone. No, she told me to bring that junk back. I think I ended up breaking or something and she ended up buying me my own track phone. So if you guys had a track phone, <laughs> lit. That phone was lit. I remember that phone. And like the texting, the, the numbers, it was so different and it was so tiny. Wow. And I remember he also gave me a necklace. I'm pretty sure he took this necklace from like his mom's jewelry box or something because it was rusty. <laughs> and then my mom was like, you better get that back. Honestly, I would just say, girl, do not pay attention to those stupid little boys. No, 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 no. The fifth thing that I would tell myself is pursue what you really love. So when I was in middle school, MySpace was the thing. Do you guys remember setting up your pages, having music? I was so into that stuff. I was so into photo editing. Do you guys remember Luna Pig, Photo Bucket? I was so into that. I would always ask my parents to give me like a camera and buying all these programs for editing. I was so into that stuff. And what I would tell myself, being in the position where I am now, where I love taking pictures and editing and websites and all this jazz, all this social media stuff, I love it. If I was talking to Jennifer of sixth grade, I'd be like, Jennifer, 
you love this pursue it learn about it you know grow in it T like teach yourself these things and ask for help I would I don't know where I would be if I would have invested in myself before and truly pursued what I loved before but God is strategic in all his ways but I just think if I would have paid attention to that creative sense inside of me that I had and that wanting to learn about all this tech stuff like I think I would have been in a different position that than where I am now. I don't know, you feels me? Just pursue what you love. Yeah, those are my five things. If you guys think of anything that you would have told yourself when you were in middle school, I would love to hear it. Uh, were you guys as dumb as me? <laughs> Literally dumb. Thank you guys for watching. If you guys have not already subscribed to this channel, girl. Why are you here? What? No, I'm kidding. So my Instagram handle is at forever Jennifer and I would love to connect with you guys on there. So make sure you like, subscribe, and share with one of your girlfriends and be like, dang, you know what? I would have told myself that too in middle school. <laughs> okay, bye y'all.